Hello friends, this is Laravel 9 CRUD application tutorial series. And in this part, we will learn how to insert or add data into MySQL table. And with insert or add data into MySQL table, we will also learn how to validate form data. And we will also learn how to upload image with inserting of data. So here, we will make Laravel 9 CRUD application with image upload. In previous part, we have already show you, how to fetch data from MySQL table. And display on web page in HTML table format, so if you not seen that part, so first you to see that part. Now let's start discussing this topic, so first we want to create button, for add student data. So we have goes into index.blade.php file, and under this file. And here we have to write, anchor tag, with href is equal to Laravel expression. And after this, we have to write root function, and under this function, we have to write students.create, so it will redirect web page to this create method. And after this, we have to write class is equal to button, button success, button small and float end. And in anchor text, we have to write add, so when we have to click on this link, then it will redirect to create method, now we have goes into student controller. And here, we have goes to create method, and under this file. We have to write return statement, with view method, and under this method. We have to write, views file name create, so it will load, this file under browser. Now under this file, we have to open this file, and under this file, we want to make student create form. So under this file, first we want to extend master template. So for this, here we have to write, at the rate extends directive with file name master. Now we want display content with master template, so for this. Here we have to write, at the rate section directive with content. And first we have closed this section, by using at the rate end section directive with name content. And between this section directive, we have to paste this HTML code. Now here we have to create add student form, so for this, here we have to write. Form tag, with method is equal to post, after this, action attribute is equal to, Laravel expression. And between this, we have to write, root method and under this, we have to write. Students.store method, so it will send request to this method. And after this for upload file, here we have to write. Encryption type is equal to, multi-part form data. Under this form, first we have to write, at rate CSRF directive. This directive will protect from, cross-site forgery attack. Now forget student name details, so for this, here we have to write. Input type is equal to text, name is equal to student name and class is equal to form control. Same way for store student email details, so for this, here we have to write. Input type is equal to text, name is equal to student email, and class is equal to form control. After this, forget student gender details, so for this, here we have to write. Select tag with name is equal to student gender, and class is equal to form control. Under this tag, we have to add two options, like male and female, for select student gender details. Now for upload student image, so for this, here we have to write. Input type is equal to file, and name attribute is equal to student image. And lastly, for submit form data, here we have to write, input type is equal to submit. Class attribute is equal to, button and button primary class. And value is equal to add, so by click on this button, form data will be submitted. Now we have goes to student controller, and goes into this store method. So this method will receive, add new student form data. Under this method, first we want to validate, student form data. 
So for this, here we have to write request variable with validate function. Under this function, we have to define different validation rules for different form field in an array format. First we want to validate student name field data, so in the key. We have to write student name, and in value, we have to write validation rules like required. So this rules will check this form field value as required for submit form data. Now we want to validate student email field, so for this, here in key, we have to write student email, and in value, we have to write validation rules like required email and unique double colon students. So this validation rules will check the student email field value as required. And that value must be valid email, and that email must be unique in students table. After this, we want to validate student image data. So for this, in the key, we have to write student image, and in value, we have to write validation rules like required image, valid image extension, image size and image dimension. So after define different validation rules, it will check we must to select image for submit form data. And selected file must be an image, and that image have valid image extension. After this, it will check image size must be less than 2 MB. After this, it will check image dimension like image width must be minimum 100 pixels. Image height must be minimum 100 pixels, after this it will check. Image maximum width must be 1000 pixel, and image maximum height must be 1000 pixel. So this all validation, it will check before uploading image, and then after it will insert form data into MySQL database. If there is no any validation error has been generated, it will proceed for image upload. So for image upload, first we want to rename student image, so for this. Here we have to write dollar file name variable is equal to php time function. After this, for get image extension, we have to write request function with student image variable with get client original extension function. So this code will generate new image name before uploading of image. Now for upload image, here we have to write request function with student image variable. And after this, we have to write move function with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write public path function with images folder name. And in second parameter, we have to write dollar file name variable. So this code will upload student image under public directory images folder. After this, we want to store form data under student model class object. So here, we have to write dollar student variable is equal to new student model class. And below this, we have to write dollar student variable with student name table column is equal to dollar request variable with student name form field name, so it will store this data under this object. After this, for store student email form field data under this object. So here, we have to write dollar student object with student email table column is equal to dollar request variable with student email form field name. And lastly, we want to store uploaded student image name under this object. So for this, here we have to write dollar student object with student image table column is equal to dollar file name variable. So here we have stored data under this dollar student object. For insert data into students table. So for this, here we have to write student object with save function. So this function will insert data into students table. Now for redirect web page and display list of students data in HTML table format with success message. So here we have to write return statement with redirect function. And after this we have to write root function and under this we have to write students.index method so it will redirect to this method and now for display success message. Here we have to write with function with two parameter. And in first parameter, we have to write success variable name. 
and in second parameter we have to write message like student added successfully now we want to display the success message so for this we have to open index.blade.php file and here we have to write at the rate if directive and under condition we have to write dollar message variable is equal to session class with get function and under this function we have to write success so if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have to write this html code and between this code we have to write laravel expression and between this laravel expression we have to write dollar message variable so this code will display success message on the web page same way we want to display validation error after submission of form data so we have goes to create dot blade dot php file and under this file we have to write at the rate if directive and under condition we have to write dollar errors variable with any function so this condition will check if any error has been occurs then it will execute if block of code under this block we have to paste this html code and now for fetch validation error from this dollar errors variable here we have to write at the rate for each directive and under condition we have to write dollar errors variable with all function as dollar error variable so by using this for each loop it will fetch validation error from this dollar errors variable and here we have to write open and close list tag and between this we have to write laravel expression and between this we have to write dollar error variable so it will display validation error on the web page so here our code is ready now we have saved this code and check output in the browser friends here we have first refresh web page and after refresh of web page and after refresh of web page here we can see that add button has been created at above html table now for add new student data here we have to click on this add button and after click on add button so here on web page we can see that student add form has been loaded in the browser now first we want to validate form data so we have directly click on the submit button and after click on the submit button here we can see validation error has been display on the web page so here before inserting of data it has been validate form data and form data validation has been working properly now here we have one by one fill student name student email and student gender data and after this we have select student image from local computer now we have to click on the submit button and after click on the submit button here we can see that page has been redirect to another web page and here we can see success message and below it we can view list of student data in html table format and here we can also view last inserted student data under this list of data also and under this student data we can see student image student name student gender data has been display in html table format in last table column we will make view edit and delete button in upcoming part so in this part we have learned how to insert or add data into mysql table with form validation and image upload with this laravel 9 crud application In next part we will learn how to display single student data on the web page under this laravel 9 crud application so we will be meet in the next part